هو القرآن والفرقان إليه تنصت الأكوان وفيه تعطر الآذان والقرآن ضياء يملأ الآفاق ونور يبعث الأشواق وفيه محاسن الأخلاق والقرآن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلاة وسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. Today is Tuesday, thirteenth of April, twenty twenty one, equivalent to first day of Ramadan. 1442 May Allah accept our ibadat We will continue with our program understanding the final message As we all know the final message is none other than the glorious Quran if we have what is called Old Testament and New Testament Quran is the final testament is the last testament previously God Almighty sent his prophets to different nations and prophets who came from Allah they preach and they call their people to worship Allah alone without associating any partners to Allah thus Allah says in the Quran in chapter number 3 Verse number 64 Qul ya ahl al-kitab ta'alaw ila kalimatin A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan r-rajim Bismillahi r-rahman r-rahim Qul ya ahl al-kitab ta'alaw ila kalimatin sawa'in بيننا وبينكم تعالوا إلى كلمة سواء بيننا وبينكم ألا نعبد إلا الله ولا نشرك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله تَوَلَّوْا فَقُولُوا اشْهَدُوا بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Say O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam O people of the scripture Jews and Christians Come to a world that is just Between us and you that we worship none but Allah alone and that we associate no partners with him and that none of us shall take others as lords besides Allah then if they turn away say be a witness that we are Muslims we submit our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a verse that connect us with Jews and Christians. Someone may wonder why always when Muslims are preaching, whenever Muslims are quoting from Quran, calling people to Islam, they always 
quote also the Holy Bible. The only reason that we are using the Holy Bible to bring our brothers Christian to light is this verse. Allah says to his prophets, tell them, come to common terms as between us and you. What is that common terms? Allah says, Allah na abuja illallah. That is to worship none but Allah. We Muslims, we unify Allah. We know there is no God besides Allah. It is the something that is mentioned in the previous scriptures as preached by respected prophets of God starting from Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, Joseph, David, Solomon, Zechariah, up to Jesus. They all preach the oneness of God. They all unify Allah. So if we call our brothers to this common term, that will lead us to peaceful living with more understanding. Because we have one thing is common, that is to worship our creator and sustainer alone without associating partners to him. This is one of the reasons whenever Muslims are reciting the Holy Quran, when they come especially to verse like this, they pause and comment as the previous successors of prophets comment. They give glad tidings to those who unify the oneness of Allah. Because this is the only common thing between us and them. Coming to our topic, understanding the final message. This final message is the only book that maintains its text without any alteration. It maintains its purity without any concoction, without any vulgar, without any discrepancies. Thus Allah says in chapter number 15, Verse number nine. Inna nahanu nazzalna zikira wa inna lahu lahafizun. We verily send down the remembrance. Quran is the remembrance. And we are the one to guard it from any alteration, from any discrepancies. For 1,400 years, there is no book which is widely used and read like the Holy Quran. There is no book that is memorized by millions of people like Holy Quran. Quran is a unique book. Quran was revealed to Prophet peace be upon him for a period of 22 years five months and 14 days. Some part was revealed while Prophet, peace be upon him, was in Mecca. After the migration to Medina, the rest of the chapters and verses of the glorious Quran were revealed to our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. How was Quran revealed? How was Quran revealed? Allah is telling us, He revealed to His prophets in the glorious Quran. As we mentioned yesterday, the verse that says, Allah revealed to Noah 
as he revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, and other prophets that came before Prophet Muhammad. Allah says he revealed to Prophet Muhammad as he revealed to Noah and other prophets. So Prophet Muhammad was not the first, peace be upon him, to receive the divine guidance, to receive the divine revelation. This revelation is translated in English as revelation or inspiration or giving hints. The original word in Arabic is wahai. Wahai is literally translated as inspiration. So this inspiration came in different forms. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, as stated in chapter number 6, verse number 12, guidance is coming from evil, from devil. Guidance can come from devil. Again, Allah says in chapter number 16, verse number 68, inspiration or wahai is a guidance by sign. It is revealed to be to take its habitation in mountains and in trees as mentioned in Surah Nahal. وَأَوْحَى رَبُّكَ إِلَى النَّحْلِ أَنْ اتَّخِذِي مِنَ الْجِبَالِ بُيُوتًا وَمِنَ الشَّجَرِ وَمِمَّا يَعْرِشُونَ ثُمَّ كُلِي مِنْ كُلِّ الثَّمَرَاتِ فَاسْلُكِي سُبُلَ رَبِّكِ ذُلُّلًا يخرج من بطونها شراب مختلف ألوانه فيه شفاء للناس إن في ذلك لآية لقوم يتفكرون الله سبحانه وتعالى says and your Lord inspired the bees saying take your habitations in the mountains and in the trees and in what they erect and Allah continues then eat of all fruits and follow the ways of your Lord made easy for you there comes from their bellies a drink of varying colors wherein is healing for men verily in this is indeed a sign for a people who think. The bee instinctually builds its hives in appropriate places in according to particular patterns as a result of divine commands, secretly written in their cell of its minute brain. Bees, this honey bee, they were inspired by Allah to eat from different fruits and to give the drink which is healing for men. So this is divine inspiration to insects, bees, as mentioned in the glorious Quran. Again, there is guidance by signs as mentioned in chapter number 19 verse number 11 فَخَرَجَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ مِنَ الْمِحْرَابِ فَأَوْحَىٰ إِلَيْهِمْ أَنْ سَبِّحُوا بُكْرَةً وَعَشِيًّا Prophets Zachariah, Zachariah in the Bible. 
he comes to his people and he commands them to praise the name of their Lord in the morning and in the evening. Allah inspired in him to do such. This is sign. فَأَوْلْهَا إِلَيْهِمْ Zachariah inspired to them because he couldn't talk. This is one of the signs that Allah gave him for the glad tidings of a son that he longed for as a result of seeing something different from Mary, mother of Jesus, when she was secluded in worship of Allah he saw different kind of foods. The food that is not of that period, he saw it with Mary. And he asked her, Mary, what is this? And Mary, peace be upon her, answered, Allah give sustenance to people without account. From that, Zachariah, he begged and he supplicates to his Lord for a child. After Angel spoke to Zachariah that Allah will give him Yahya John the Baptist. Yahya alayhi salam. Zachariah said he wanted to see a sign. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you cannot speak for three days. In that instance, Zachariah alayhi salam, Zachariah, he goes to his people, he inspired to them by sign, by gesture, to pray their Lord in the morning and in the evening. This is one of the forms of revelation. Quran speaks about the people who think they are inspired by Almighty God because there is a verse in chapter number 6 Surah An'am verse number 112 that says even devils are inspiring one to another. Alam yaraw kam ahlakina min qablihim min qarnin makkanna hum fil ardi ma lam numakkin lakum wa arsalna samaa alayhim midrara وَجَعَلْنَا الْأَنْهَارَ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهِمْ فَأَهْلَكْ إِلَاهُ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَأَنْشَأْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ قَوْلًا آخَرِينَ وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍ عَدُوًا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنْسِ وَالْجِنِّ يُحِي بَعْضُهُمْ يوحي بعض إلى بعض زخرف القول غرورا ولو شاء ربك ما فعلوه فذرهم وما يفترون. And so we have appointed for every prophet enemies, shayateen devils, among mankind and jinn, inspiring one another with adorned speech as a delusion or by way of deception. If your Lord had so willed, they would not have done it. So leave them alone with their fabrications. This is how devil among men are inspiring one another. Devil among jinns are also inspiring one another. For what? to take people from the path of Allah as mentioned in this verse we see from previous scriptures there are instances 
that even the writers of that scriptures, they testified the shortcomings of man-made scriptures. For example, in the preface of Revised Standard Version of the Bible, in page number three, it says, this Bible has so many defects, and these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. Bible writers, they are non Muslims, they are Christians, they are Christian scholars, they are Christian clergy. They testified the fact that King James Version, which was published in 1611, has so many defects. And these defects are so many and so serious as to call for the revision. It is stated in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, Verse number 79. Allah says, Then woe to those who write the book with their own hands, and then say, This is from Allah, to purchase with it a little price. Woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn thereby. This is the situation of the Bible today. Even the writers they testified to this fact. Like in the book of Luke, chapter number one, from verse one to verse three, Luke himself says, this is what he sees. Many ministers of the world are writing about Jesus Christ. So it seems good to him to write also something about Jesus Christ. This is his words. He said in the first chapter, book of Luke, for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, chapter uh, verse 2, even as they delivered them to, unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses, and ministers of the world, verse 3 says, It seems good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee in order most excellent Theophilus. This is what he says. It seems good to him to write something. So his book is one of the canonical gosp uh, gospels attributed to Jesus, though all the four books are attributed to the writers. The first book of the New Testament is the book of Matthew, which is written by Matthew. Who is Matthew? Matthew is not known, even among the disciples of Jesus, because there is a verse in the book of Matthew chapter number 9, verse number 9, that says, Matthew himself, he was called by Jesus, but the talk seems to be from the third party, from the third person, not from the Matthew who wrote the Bible. Let's read from the book of Matthew, chapter number 9, Verse number 9. It says, chapter number 9, verse number 9. 
And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And the, he says unto him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. By hearing all this, we know this is not from the writer. This is not from the writer. If Jesus saw Matthew the writer and he called him to follow him, the writer must have right and Jesus saw me on table collect uh, receipt of custom and he asked me to follow him and I followed him. But the first the verse says Jesus called Matthew and he rose and he followed Jesus. That shows it is not from the disciple of Jesus. This statement. We read from the different chapters of the Bible the description of God unlike what Jesus said about God. Jesus said in the book of John chapter number 17 verse number 3 This is life eternal that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. This is what Jesus said. But later on Paul of Tarsus he came and he says in the book of Acts he was inspired by Jesus and he called Jesus Lord. Jesus clearly says in the book of Matthew chapter number 7 from verse 21 to 23 not all those who call me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. But Paul says Lord called him in the book of Acts and he sent him to call others to Christianity not the religion of Jesus because Jesus did not practice Christianity there is no place in the entirety of the Bible where Jesus says my religion is Christianity in the entirety of the Bible from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, the last book, there is not a single statement from any of the writers that says Christianity or Christianity is the religion of Jesus. But Reza, the Christians got their name in Antioch long after the ascension of Jesus. As mentioned, in the book of Acts, chapter number 11, verse number 26, where the verse says, And it is in Antioch that disciples were first called Christians. So Jesus did not practice Christianity. There is no Christianity at the time of Jesus. Jesus says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of my Father who has sent me. This proved the fact that Jesus did not come on his own, and he and his Father are not one. He said, I do the will of my Father who has sent me. So Jesus was sent. From here, we comprehend what Jesus did and what is done after him. From where St. Paul started calling people to worship Jesus, from that instance they formed Christianity. Because Jesus was asked in the book of Matthew Chapter number 19 from verse 16 to 17. One of the people of Jesus asked him, 
Good master, what good thing shall I do to go to life? Jesus says, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. If you want to go to life, keep the commandments. He did not say, If you want to go to life, believe that I die for you, or I will die for you. He did not say that, If you want to go to life, believe I am your God. He said, why call it thou me good? Regardless of God, he says, why call it thou me good? Why are they calling him good? Not God. Good. This is proof of the inspiration of devil to these people who think they got inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah only reveal to prophets or from a veil as is mentioned from the glorious Quran in chapter number 42 verse number 51 وَمَا كَانَ لِبَشَرٍ أَن يُكَلِّمَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا وَحْيًا أَوْ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَابٍ أَوْ يُرْسِلَ رَسُولًا فَيُوحِيَ بِإِذْنِهِ مَا يَشَاءُ إِنَّهُ عَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا ما كنت تدني ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور الله سبحانه وتعالى says وما كان لبشر أن يكلمه الله إلا وحيا أو من وراء هجاب أو يرسل رسولا فيوهي بإذنه ما يشاء Innahu Aliyun Hakim. It is not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him unless it be by revelation or from behind a veil, or that he sends a messenger to reveal that he wills by his leave. Verily he is most high always. This verse, this verse says it doesn't befit that man receive revelation or receive any speech from Allah or any words from Allah except by revelation or, or from behind the veil as it happened with Moses peace be upon him as we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to Musa alayhi salam as mentioned in chapter number 4, verse number 164, وَكَلَّمَ اللَّهُ مُسَى تَكْلِيمًا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He revealed to His servants, He revealed to His prophets, His command is to worship Him alone. This is first of all the commandments. As mentioned in chapter number 16, Verse number 36 وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ رَسُولًا أَنِ اعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُوا الطَّاغُوتِ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ هَدَى اللَّهُ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ حَقَّتْ عَلَيْهِ الضَّلَالَةِ فَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَانْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ Allah says, Verily, we have sent among every Ummah, community, nation, a messenger proclaiming, Worship Allah alone, and avoid or keep away from Tagut, all false deities, 
do not worship Tawood besides Allah. Then of them were some who Allah guided and of them were some upon whom the strain was justified. So travel through the land and see what was the aim of those who denied the truth. This is what Allah says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 36. Allah raised from every nation a messenger calling people to worship Allah and to shun the worship of any deity besides Allah. This is one of the messages and is the first message to humanity. In Islam, we have five pillars and this is first part of the first pillar. Believing in only Allah and believing in the messengership of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This message is a continuation of previous messages. That is why we even have of today's verses of the Bible that are calling to worship of one and only God. As mentioned by Moses in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 6 verse number 4 where he says in Hebrew Shema Israelu Adna ilachenu adna ichad Hear O Israel the Lord our God the Lord is one the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. The same message is repeated by Jesus, peace be upon him, in the book of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29. When someone asked Jesus, the first of all commandments, and then Jesus says, Shema Israelu, Adina ilachenu adina ichad. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. The Lord of Jesus also. He said, Our God, not your God. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Even God Almighty is even God of Jesus, is God of Abraham. As mentioned in the book of Galatians, Chapter number 3, verse number 13, where it says, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Ishmael, who glorified his servant, Jesus. Jesus is a servant of Allah. Servant cannot be greater than his master. Even he cannot compare to his, his master. You cannot equate servant and master. God is servant of Allah, but he's not God. So, all this oneness of God is there in today's Bible, and it is the original teaching of Jesus. And we have it up to today, but why our brothers are worshiping Jesus while Jesus himself rejects any form of worship in the day and time of his ministry. He also says in the book of Matthew, chapter number 15, from verse 8 to verse 9, he says, these people in vain they are worshiping me. They only glorify me with their own lips, but their heart is far from me. They are following the commandments of men. Here is the verse. Book of Matthew, chapter number 15, verse number eight says, 
This people draweth near unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In verse 9 he says, But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. This is what Jesus says in the book of Matthew, chapter number 15, from verse 8 to verse 9. That means, people are nowadays following the commandments of men. And if we digest these facts from the Bible, we'll come to realize it is truth. And the Bible says, seek ye the truth, only truth shall free you. So for those who want to go to life, let's follow Jesus directly, not church, not any other person, not even Paul, because Jesus was not contemporary of Paul. Paul came later after the ascension of Jesus. In the first place, he was persecuting Christians. He was persecuting people of Jesus, not Christians, because at that time, there are no Christians. Paul was persecuting them, putting them to prisons, when he sees that will not work, he says, he was called by God or by Lord, meaning Jesus. And he asked him to go to Galatians, to Corinthians, to Philippians, to deliver the message of Jesus. We know very well, Jesus, peace be upon him, restricted his message to his people only, to the Lordship of the house of Israel. And in the Quran, Allah is telling us, Jesus is a prophet to the children of Israel, wa rasulan ila bani Israel. But today, many people are non-Jews. They are still following Jesus. We have many people in Nigeria. They are not also following Jesus. They are following doctrines of men as said in this chapter of Matthew, chapter 15, verse number 8 and verse number 9. So, this is what happened. Paul did not meet Jesus, but he said, after Jesus completed his message, when Jesus says to his disciple, go to only lordship of the house of Israel, it is mentioned in the Bible in the book of Matthew, Chapter number 10, from verse 5 to verse 6. It says, These twelve Jesus sent and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of Gentiles, neither into any city of Samaritans, but go rather to the lordship of the house of Israel. Go rather to the lordship of the house of Israel. The same message is repeated in the book of Matthew, Chapter number 15, verse number 24. He says, I was only sent to the Lordship of the house of Israel. So, this is the resurrection of the message of Jesus. Even the people of Israel, Jesus prophesied that someone will come. If that person come, they should stop what they are practicing from what Jesus brought from God. They will continue with the worship of God, the same God of Jesus, following that last and final messenger of Allah. May peace and blessing be on all of them. This is the message of Jesus. Unlike the message of Islam, or unlike the message of Quran, the message of Quran is to be revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, only. Because he is the only prophet to the entirety of humanity. 
before time reaches let's finish with this verse from surah 42 verse 40 verse 52 we already explained verse 40, 51 Allah says وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِّنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانُ وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَهَدِي بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءُ مِنْ إِبَادِنَا وَإِنَّكَ لَتَهَدِي إِلَى سِرَاتِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ And thus we have sent you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ruh, a revelation and mercy Ruh, revelation and mercy Revelation is refers as rule here in this verse and mercy, blessing from Allah of our command. You knew not what is the book, nor what is faith, but we have made it this Quran a light wherewith we guide whosoever of our slaves we will. And verily, you, O Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are indeed guiding mankind to a straight path Allah's religion of Islamic monotheism this verse 51 of chapter 42 or verse 52 of chapter 42 is given us the information of the state of Prophet Muhammad before he did not know any book neither does it not any faith but Allah revealed this rule this Quran to him this revelation to guide whomsoever Allah wills as a light and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the one who is calling who is guiding mankind to the straight path the path of Tawheed, the path of monotheism. Verse 53 of chapter 42 says, Surat Allahi Allahi Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-arud ala ila Allahi tasiru al-umur. The path of Allah to whom belongs all that is in heavens and all that is in the earth. Verily all matters at the end go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for decision so this last verse of this chapter chapter Shura is telling us that right path is the path of Allah the path of monotheism is the path of Allah Allah to him belongs the heavens and the earth and at the end all matters will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for decision. Allah created us to worship him to test us which of us is best indeed. So this Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him solely to bring people from darkness of polytheism to the light of monotheism to call people to oneness of Allah, to call people to Tawheed, which was abandoned by the previous nations. It was abandoned. And we, people of Prophet Muhammad, we should embark in calling people back to their natural instinct, that is to worship Allah alone and to shun away the worship of any other deity. With this, we come to draw the curtain of today's program, understanding the final message. All thanks be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and blessings and salutations be on upon our leader, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we pray, may Allah make it easy for all of us. May Allah reward those who involved in bringing this program to where it is. 
like the person who built this masjid in Badawa quarters, Kano State, and we pray, may Allah reward people who are working here to see all this come to being. We pray, may Allah help us, may Allah guide us to the right path. There is TV station from Ghana, Muslim World TV. We pray, may Allah increase their sustenance and guide them and bring them wisdom and reward them abundantly. There is Manara TV English. They will also broadcast this, inshallah. May Allah bless them all. Wa akhiri da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yisifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. هو القرآن هو الفرقان إليه تنصت الأكوان وفيه تعطر الآذان هو القرآن ضياء يملأ الآفاق ونور يبعث الأشواق